Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching me. Before you do anything else, go ahead and like, subscribe, and activate the notifications by clicking on the bell down low, down below. So this is the last part to this four part Keith Haring series. If you haven't watched the other three, make sure you do that. And to conclude this mini biography, in 1998 Keith Haring was diagnosed with AIDS. So in 1989 he started the Keith Haring Foundation and this was to generate activism and awareness related to AIDS. Once he found out he was diagnosed, he was like always busy, always working because he thought, okay, I have so much to do, there's so much left to do. And he was already an artist that was always busy and always creating work constantly. But his diagnosis took that to the next level. And this is a quote that he said. Well, obviously, if it's a quote, he said it. <laughs> no matter how long you work, it's always going to end sometime and there's always going to be things left undone. And it wouldn't matter if you lived until you were 75, there would still be new ideas. There would still be things that you wish you would have accomplished. You could work for several lifetimes. Part of the reason that I'm not having trouble facing the reality of death is that it's not a limitation. In a way, it could have happened any time, and it's going to happen sometime. If you live your life according to that, death is irrelevant. Everything I do right now is exactly what I wanted to do. All of the things you make are a kind of quest for immortality because you're making these things that you know have a different kind of life. They don't depend on breathing, so they'll last longer than any of us will, which is sort of an interesting idea that is sort of extending your life to some degree. After I read that quote that first time, it kind of like made me sad and made me like choke up a little bit because he died at the age of 31 and that's such a young age to die at and imagine what he would have done had that not been the case but I think it's cool that he is remembered and he's still very relevant to this day so long leave Keith Haring and long leave his work and his influence is still present in a lot of people like myself I am very influenced by his work so even though he had a very short artistic career he had over a hundred solo exhibitions he collaborated and did works for artists such as Madonna, Grace Jones, Yoko Ono, and of course Andy Warhol. And of course Andy Warhol. So today we're going to do this right here which is like Dancing Daisies. There's three of them in this picture but I'm only going to do two due to the size of the paper and I'm going to make it my own a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to take a lot of artistic liberties with this one. So grab your pencils and your erasers. I'll get a sharpie of course. So I'm gonna start by making two circles because I'm only doing two of the daisies. So right above <laughs> the middle line. So after those two circles, now I'm making the stem to this one. So right here, you make the line down. And another one. Now I'm just going to do the daisy, which is just up and down line, so you can make as many petals as you want, or however many fit. So I will start off with the stem. So just go down, curve and up, and then repeat it. And then we have the first daisy. So now one arm is going down and the other one's going up. So then we'll do the down one. Go across, down, then make the hand, then come back up, and then come back across. Now the other one, same thing, but it's going up. So across, up, the hand and then down. And then you come back across. Right here we're going to curve it because it's in motion, not standing up straight. You're going to go down and out to make the foot, leg and foot. Now you're going to curve it up to make the foot and then go up to make the leg. Now you're going to make a diagonal line inwards. You're going to make a diagonal line coming upwards. You're 
you're gonna go down and then across. Then you're gonna curve it and go up for the foot and the leg. And now you're gonna bring this in and this line's gonna go down a little bit. And then you just connect these two. There we have the first dancing daisy. I wonder what song she's dancing to. Or he, or them. So now the same thing over here. We're gonna do the daisy first before they do the stem. So same thing, you're just gonna go down and up, curve and down, and then just repeat it all the way around. So after you do that, we're going to do the stem. So you bring the line down from right here. The daisy uh, closest to the center. And then one on the other side. Once again, one will be down, and one up. We'll do this one, so make a line out straight. Curve it for the hand. And then come back in. So it's, this one's actually just extended. They're doing this movement. So, extend, go up and over for the arm and hand, then down, and then bring it in. Now you're going to make two horizontal lines right here for the body. Extend this one out, but go down a little bit, then down and in, make the foot go up. Then go across, but go up slightly up. And then the same thing will be on this side. Across going down, down going in, the foot, go up, and then just connect this line to that one. Since everything is always like enclosed in a geometric shape with a square rectangle, I'm gonna do that with this one. So now I'm going to add a ground, so a horizontal line. And then I'm going to add, you know, the little spots he adds. And now the little motion lines. So now I'm gonna trace the lines even darker, thicker, and then color, and then we'll come back. So now I'm done. I did it. I did two different yellows for the daisies, and then a multi-green area for the grass, only because the one I started with died. It ran out, and then the next one I was gonna go with also ran out. So then I said, you know what? I'm just gonna get all the greens I have into the grass that way because all of these are running out. So they didn't live after this. But uh, you know, I took some creative liberties and you can as well. You can do your own thing, make, put your own twist to it. That's it for today's drawing tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you watch the other ones in this four part series I did. And do watch the documentary about Keith Haring on YouTube. It's titled The Universe of Keith Haring. It's very, very interesting. It's a great watch. And that's it for today. Adios, bye.